much good I'm my own I said fuck that No, it won't trap me I don't wanna go down the road That I've been before I wanna go see the world Where I've never been before I wanna see all these people That I've never met before I wanna go and give you everything And everything and more I'm like Hello guys, finally a test drive on the main channel, finally. There aren't many cars left in this world, which I really want to tell you about. To be honest, there are only a few of them. One of them is Land Rover, he broke away, and there is nothing more to talk about it. But nevertheless, I have always said that BMW makes a good 7 Series. That's it. I really don't like the other BMWs as much as the 7. If they hadn't transferred everything else to the Claire platform from the 7, and I also started to like everything else quite well. But at last, we have a new deity, a new idol, and a new Her Majesty, the 7. Let's go. The so-called i7 and its index, in my opinion, is 60s. It has 544 horsepower and, of course, all-wheel drive, and that's it. There is nowhere else to fill gasoline. And the traditional gas tank hatch, of course, it is here. But if you open it, you won't find any gas tank in it. It just can accommodate either one Type 2 charging wire or two charging wires. It will already be CSS directly. All this will be charged absolutely like any other cars with undisguised enthusiasm. The most important thing is that in addition to all of this, our car is fully packed. It knows how to open doors on her own, if it has such a mood. We've been messing around with this car for days. I had the key in my pocket. You're using it wrong. Stick your hand in there. For some reason it didn't work the first time. I don't understand. The door didn't open on its own simply because I was standing next to it, so that I won't get hit. How to close it? Press and hold? No, just push. If you push yes, the door server will bring the door itself… not to the end. You get it. The technology is so discouraging. There is never any certainty. Will it work or not? Ok, I opened it. Good. Like in a Rolls Royce. I agree, Rolls Royce is no longer needed. How to close it now? It was closing. Sometimes it closes according to an incomprehensible algorithm. One hour later. I don't understand. You can't even slap it, it resists. Sometimes it closes. I do not know what it needs at the same time. Maybe you need to get up like this somehow. It's opened now. Uh, try to press the button so as not to push the door. Nikita! Not bad, not bad. Listen, how did you do that? Wait, one more time. The door opened. It opens wonderfully, very convenient. And don't push the door, right? There is a micro-click, and at the same time, it starts to close with this button. There are no such similar buttons on the key. Wait, if we close it, let's say we press the lock when the door is open. What will happen in this way? Come on. That's it, it's closed. Oh, it's closed. Didn't you notice? <laughs> and if you hold it, hold the button, hold it to the end. I didn't let go. It's definitely closed now, yes? Yes. What I'm doing today without your advice? So I don't understand now, right? Okay, I'm holding it. Technologies that are ahead of time. 
They will load your brain. Certainly. It's just that after two or three days of using this car, you will be furious because you have something with how does it work. Only dog knows how it works. Fortunately, there is a key. The trunk at least still opens the same way. It pleases. And it closes. Yes, it's the same. You need to hold it. If you, for example, close the trunk and it does not close as it is now, for example, are we too far away from it or what's going on? Even if you let it go now, it won't close anymore. That's it. That's how it will look. Nevertheless, the car has changed so much. It is primarily when you get into an BMW. Well, about the appearance, let's just not say anything. Everything is so bad that it would be better not to have it at all, to be honest. G11 is the top for today, to be honest. But even when you get inside, you don't understand if you're sitting in BMW or if it's some new Chinese brand that has brought its ramshackle electromobile to Russia again. And there are many, many such options here, because the BMW left the steering wheel in the cabin and a little bit of the overhead light. Everything else is just some kind of… I don't know. Well, in the design of the back, of course, you can't look without tears either. Let's say if there are still brake lights somehow, we're still accustomed to this. The last X5, X6, this line is still still recognizable for somewhere. Then everything below, especially this aerodynamic comp, especially this beautiful magnificent bumper, which is still on the move and the package. We've lost a kid, let's say that. Moving on. One of the handy pieces that are really not bad, that is your approach to the car and open the door. In fact, it is much easier and more convenient to open it as before with a handle. Get in the car. And then at the moment when you press brake with your foot, the doors begin to close. But let's say you did for some reason like this. And every time you hit the brake, oh, 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 she will squash you a little. This is of course great. Otherwise, all these buttons... I have a complete suspicion that... In the second week, you stop using it. Because whatever it was, the doors like this tame. It's easier and faster to open than with a button. How long did it take me to open the door? And how much time we need for this? It was strange, you must agree. That maybe it's easier to just open the damn door as usual. There is nothing complicated about it. Maybe you push the wrong button. Yes. I wasn't careful enough. Hold on. It's much easier to open and close it with your hands, seriously. There is no fun with all these buttons and assistants. Okay. Friends, the moment he stands, and even a little nervous, if you want, a nerve a nervous moment, because I accidentally pressed the air conditioner menu button. There is a gesture control, here it works. This is probably a fast forward backwards, the volume is traditionally added like this. It's great, it's all the way it was. I really like it all. I'm in my usual menu here, here I have a home screen, here is some information, I click the air conditioner menu. Are we taking off somewhere? There is a lot of everything here, and sometimes you start to get lost because there is more than you expected. But, however, nothing so unusual. What is it? It just starts to beat the rhythm. It's interesting. Yes, it's all a masterpiece. The quality of the cameras, the image, all this. We're trapped, we can't get out of here now. Damn, we're very big. Yes. When you first go to this point, it's a little difficult to immediately understand where the front of the car ends. But, however, we somehow understood it. With you. I'm even starting to stutter. Too much information is pouring on me at this point when you start driving in it. Even if you look at the dashboard, I just don't look at it, because if I look at it now, oh my god, I caught a glimpse of her. That is, there are so many data. Have you changed anything else? What kind of style is on this dashboard? Not changed? Surely you can change this style in some way. Come on, now. Boost. We don't need it. Sport boost. Theater. Content layout. 
How much? Layout. Now I can do here like this, like this. Everything is very cybernetic. I can still change the head up. <laughs> yes, uh, guys. Content. Yes. Yes, uh, I will bring out the speed. Everything is good. So let the layout be like this. So there is a lot of everything. The car is stuffed, of course. There are no questions with this. But for the first acquaintance, there is too much at once. It overloads you. Despite the fact that it seems like a minimalistic style is welcome in the salon itself. Even look at this key. It's simple, and here the guys on the one hand did not agree with me that the previous body had a super key, a smartphone, with which you could drive. And we are sitting in a new body, the key has been greatly simplified here. But probably there is even a benefit in this, because we no longer need the functions of that smartphone key, because it's already in your smartphone. And this thing fits more than a BMW key. And it is always with you, unlike that key. And here we can put an app, something else. Head up. I set up the content in the projection. What I have now is displayed in the projection. You have no idea. Wait, I'll just take it on video like this. That's how. Now I have a projection with some kind of tick, with something else drawn, with something there just cyberpunk fantastic. Yes. 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 Yes, it's all unusual. Of the two pedals under the steering wheel, there is one left, and there is only a boost on it. And you automatically switch them to either M or Sport mode, in general into something charged. And with a long halt, as I understand it, yes, you come out of this boost. Wait, an icon with a folder. And this is was a glove compartment, not bad, not bad. That's the kind of stuff I like. And it even painted like folder. You open it and there really is something like a folder. Let's get into the stream right away. Well, how else was it supposed to go from the other side? It rides very awesome. I don't even know what kind of wheels we have yet, but it goes just great. A large urban sedan, especially a city sedan. The electro theme is going very well, but everything is fine here. And isolates well from external noise and is generally fine. I don't want to put pedal to the metal. Recuperation is actually working on the gas pedal, but there is no control of one pedal, as I understand it. I went into the settings, looked, looked everything. It was very interesting, but to make this car ride entirely on one pedal, I haven't found such a setting yet. That is, it doesn't matter when you release the gas, it rolls a little bit to the end, as if it has a traditional automatic, automatic transmission. That is, the Tesla motion movement is not yet available here. However, it is no longer available for Audi and many more electric vehicles. I do not know for what reason these or other manufacturers do not put one pedal control. Well, we're in comfort, of course. Acceleration is not felt at all. That is, it is there. And I can see by the numbers on the speedometer, that is there. But the feeling's traditional for the 7. Why at one time, when I tested the 760, I said that it didn't need this engine and take the 750 LD, because this car went 3 and 7. And you can see it in the back and read the newspaper. I think Nikita didn't feel any discomfort right now either. The equipment didn't fly directly into your face. Okay, let's uh, turn on Sports Boost. <laughs> Here it gives more sound. Again, you didn't fly anywhere from behind. How correct is all this? It came out of the boost itself. But the sound is interesting. Okay, it's a 7, so everything is good. Actually, I would probably be surprised if someone scolds this car for having something wrong with the chassis. This is probably impossible, because this car is designed for recreation, for a family, for something unheard. But that sound... 
<laughs> we get high on that sound, not acceleration. And moreover, from the boost immediately as soon as you threw the gas, you have it from the boost itself goes back to comfort. That is, you press this boost, you do one acceleration, even this, I let him go, and now over time, she's such a clap from him. Even the seconds burn how much of this boost you have left. This is an analog of Porsche. My god, what is called that? They have a button, sport response. You push the boost, and now you have 10 seconds in the boost in which you can be fast. And that's why there is only one pedal. You don't need the second one. Three, two, one, and car turn off the boost. At the same time, along with the boost, the side swap turns on. The chair clamps me. That is, this is the moment when you need to give a little speed. But understanding that you need a lot of boost here, probably you don't need it. Let's see what we have here. Is the drive mode switches to some fierce sport? We show a huge amount of attention to ourselves. All the people in this stream really look at us, because this car is very unusual for this world. It looks clearly like something that came straight from somewhere out of there, from another reality. Now, wait a minute. What I want to say? Look, what is this? And that's the things that really infuriate. Because this is purely a miscalculation of the factory design. That is, it hangs out like this, and from here it will always flow down from above. What the hell? Well, so that it doesn't happen, then you take it and wipe it, and then it will flow from here again. The big wiper wraps up to this place, and little one is your driver's. He wraps from this place, and you get this kind of stuff here. And it all started flowing again. And you will be constantly sitting, and every time you wipe with these wipers, because in front of you there will be snot like this, you can't do anything with them. This is the point from which… and it will still flow, and you will rub it forever, nothing to do. Oh, it's old from J11. It's all the same. Well, and look at this one. Illumination is very similar, very similar to those, although, of course, recycled. The ceiling in our case is Alcantara. Such an Alcantara is very dense, not thin. Gorgeous. This is an interesting thing that is responsible for air recycling, I guess. Also funny, they won't see any deflectors here. The question is now, how to manage all this? And there are some controllers for position ones. They move in two parts, vertical, horizontal, which you use to set up air ducts for yourself. It's funny that at the same time I would probably like to see the visualization of those streams somewhere on the monitor, but you set it all up intuitively. That is, you are moving something with these controllers, and you have no idea specifically what you are moving them. It's strange. That is, for example, in the same Tesla, there is a visualization of these flows when you adjust it with the sensor. In the Panamera, has done the same, no problem. There you can still see where the deflectors go. You are shown about what you are setting up. There is nothing here for some reason. Even if I turn on the air conditioner, that is, look, I'm setting up some streams with this thing, and I have a lot of these things. They are here in the middle, there is to the right, the passengers have the same ones in the back, but this is natural, but nothing happens. I do not know where the air is blowing now. It is clear that after some time my beautiful face will understand where the air comes from, but the visualization itself is missing. It's funny. Cup holders in the front, which are very some kind of complex system. That's how they go down. In this way. Here we have default options. We have two type C, a cigarette lighter, and nothing else. Kind of like a glove box. Nothing so interesting. A wheel menu. It can also perform all functions on the monitor, so as not to touch it with your hands if you suddenly don't want to reach for it. And the most important thing I wanted to say about seat adjustment. It has now been taken out by the creators of the seats themselves on top of the doors. You can see this adjustment. This is a normal system. And it has become simpler. If you touched this adjustment before, you again had a visualization on the monitor. 
on which you saw perfectly what you were touching, what settings are available to you for the seeds. Now there are none. None of this is happening anymore. The system has become simpler. The system has become cheaper, visual at least. At the same time, the seat settings that are available to you from the doors are simply the adjustment of the backrest and the adjustment of the seat itself of the lower part. But in order to get to these options, you need to go to the menu. Seat comfort. Exactly, here. And now here we can push and move separately, for example, the broken seat backs. There is a lot more to configure. But early, I remind you, you did it all calmly with one switch, which was how it rides, Dame. Nikita, tell me, she's going just awesome. We're just floating for as long as we write video. We're just flowing, we're not even driving. In some places I don't even understand where these rails were now, on which we were driving. I've been waiting for them all this time. I want to see and say how she moves over these rails. I do not know how she runs over the rails, you don't feel them. There is no information here about whether these rails were from below at all. To put it mildly, Awesome. If children are watching us, we have a high culture. Fantastic. Nothing to say. It's really nothing to say. I don't know. There will be speed bumps now. Now I'll tell you more about them. Probably we will already feel them. And all this in some kind of default settings. So whatever. Traditionally, buttons work with a slight delay for the luxury segment. That is, if you want to move the seat, it doesn't move immediately. You clicked, wait half a second, and then the seat starts to go even with a slight acceleration. That is, as smoothly as possible. These are the functions of the luxury segment that should be in it. Everything works differently here. This is not a business class, not a C-class. This is a representative upper class. There will be nothing higher than in this BMW in theory. Although late on this base, they will probably show us a couple of Rolls Royces, but so far they are still in development. And here everything should be exactly like that. It's cool and good that it's here. What am I missing? So this is the good old volume control. It has now been replaced by volume Volkswagen's this thing. Yes, you can press it as usual, you can twist it, but I'm into wreck, damn it! Not bad, not bad, but it was. I still like the good old rubberized twister. Or maybe some beautiful ceramic with a backlight. But this menu, it has been simplified, and everything has become like this. It's also funny that you won't find the P buttons in this gearbox selection. That is, this selector doesn't have parking. It is impossible to put parking on this car, it is not physically here. It's an electric car. So if you just want to say, say, get up and get out of the car here, you just need to put it on the handbrake. You just stop, put in the handbrake, that's it. The car is ready for you to get out of it. There is no parking as such. Do you want to go again? Just click here and you have a drive. Besides the drive, is there a boost? Oh, this is a drive. And this is both D and B. I wonder what that means. Well, let's go on B mode. What is B mode? It's not boost. We're just looking forward to what will happen now. Telephone. And here we can choose a device, connect Bluetooth, all these wireless things. So we're going in B mode. What does it mean? Oh, that's interesting. It begins to recuperate in a different way. Perhaps this is the same control mode on one pedal. Oh, look, now the suspension has even jumped. Well, there are those joints in which she ponders. Yes, here are the joints of the bridges. So, what is B-mode? Look, I'm going to stop now. Yes, 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 I'll stop, right? Good job! Yes, that's it. I quite accidentally found the control of one pedal. And it's called B. That is, there is a D here, and there is B, that's all. This changes everything. And that's it, now we're driving Tesla mode on one pedal. Wonderful, everything is brilliant, brilliant. You're just handsome, BMW. The suspension works out strangely on speed bumps. Laughter is laughter. But it feels like we're falling into a bump, yes? Yes. 
She does not sag after lying down, but immediately falls into the hangout for some reason. For what? Why are you doing this to us? Seven. We probably have chassis controls. Yes, chassis drive. Chassis stiffness is not available. They're just okay. Okay. Okay, all these settings are familiar. Sports, comfort. There are no more of them down here. What else can we do? The theater is activated, digital art, expressive. The sound. Sound of drones. What? Wait, what are the flashbacks? No, efficient. For efficient driving. <laughs> How cool is that? What is that? Let's turn it on. Sport. Oh, no, let's choose comfort. Personal, efficient, expressive, relax. What? Nikita, get dressed back up. No need. Does the car take your clothes off? Background music is playing. Can't you hear it? It's psychedelic. It emits some kind of subtone that programs me for rash actions and the massage turned on. Wow. Okay, theater, digital art. Oh my god. Who spilled the ink? What's happened? In short, time for relaxation. After all, we're on the seven. Relax mode should also imply control. Control, con, con, control. Let's drive on a speed bump with one wheel. Some kind of electronic chorus in the background. What? The psychedelic settings. That is very unusual and very... That is, the sound is quieter. If you hit the gas... Holy shit! We're already being carried sideways, but I can stop the acceleration because I want to hear this prayer. What's happening? I press the brake with the gas at the same time. It feels like you're hearing your own guardian angel telling you, don't, please don't. Please don't do it. Wait, is it the same if I do it in... Expensive? Come on. Okay, and in sport? I'm afraid to imagine. How atmospheric it is. Okay, personal. No, nothing here. Damn, guys, this is just oh, so mm. digital art. Nothing. Relax is my home age. Come on again. I want to leave it again. I probably will never have such a car again. Come on. I do not know how to live with it now, but I will have to. This is the most unusual car, and it keeps playing from behind. We need to get out, take a break.
It feels like, by the way, she's not from the press park. She's just black. She's black on black with a black shadow line. It is strange that the discs are not completely black. All black. That is, what is the problem with black? It eats up the volume. There are actually a lot of facets. They are very hard to see because of this very black color. Thank God I have a cameraman, smart guys. And they will drive this car now in the dark and in the smoke to shoot. Thank you so much for sheltering us. And we will have such an awesome video.